Oh, so well, look. Nice they were able to do it again. All right, Drew, get up. Yeah, look who we have here already. <laughs> I didn't know we were going to lead the lead this thing off with we're, Mark Stoops. We're in trouble now. You already said he said get Max out of here. <laughs> He's here to ask the hard questions. You know, no way. I'm not taking any questions. <laughs> no questions from him? No, that's it. He's out. <laughs> uh, well, it is media day, and so it is great to have you here. Uh, had practice this morning. How did that go? Really good. Yeah, r- really, really good practice. I told the guys afterwards. Been here 10 years, believe it or not, and uh, that's by far the best first practice. But that's one. You yeah. know, we have so much work to do. It's crazy. And we should be further along. They, they were a little more lenient with the rules this year, letting us spend time with the guys and being out there. And so OTA-type formula, you know, like the pros where you, you know, get a little time to work with them in the summer. So we should be further along. We were. And we have some experienced guys. So. And I know this job now, it goes all year, but it also includes new stuff. NIL has led to a lot of new stuff. Yeah. But I th- is it like days like today where you're the happiest, where you're actually out there working with the players? Without a doubt, it feels so good to be back out there. You know, um, it's been a long, you know, it's a hard year. Every year, like you say, I mean, every job, I, I mean, not, not just me. I mean, look at the people, Eastern Kentucky, look at everything that's going on. But sh- stuff's hard. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, things are hard. And um, some of the rules make it more complicated, make it hard, and, and just, you know, just life you know what i mean it's it's a busy time it's tough and uh you you always seem like you're chasing your tail but you know when you get out on that practice field that's doing what you love to do and you you feel much more at peace um i like the fact that my life is structured from now until january you know it it, uh, it helps you know to get in that routine because there's so many different um layers to being a head coach now um that that seems to never stop and that's not really the fun part the fun part's on the field. We just we had Will Levis on yesterday. He said that Max Duffy was the only person he's ever seen that's been allowed to give you a hard time. Yeah, and he's not. I mean, he just doesn't know anyway. <laughs> he's always been that way. He just doesn't know any better. The to damn, be, to the be damn fair. Aussie, I mean, he just doesn't know any better. He comes in and he just, you know, That's not true. To be fair, he was like 40 years old when he walked in the door. True. So he was, he was like a, he was like a, you know, he got along with me well right from the beginning. I gave you a compliment the other day on Twitter. And you fired back at me. I said, you know, for an 85-year-old coach, you look great. I'm not 85. Then, but wait. <laughs> First time that's been said on this butt show. Butt wife. Wow, butt wife has been called. And then you came back at me. So are we okay? Are we good? Well, well yeah, now that I'm airing my grievances with you right now, face-to-face. We'll, we'll, if you have grievances, you yeah, need to yeah. see Shannon's tweet yeah. last night. Oh, and it's a yeah. Shannon the dude. You I don't, see it? You, uh-uh. You're going, all right, should no, I show it to him? You're, go, it. you're going it viral because okay. of Shannon. Shannon. Oh. Shannon, yeah. I did, somebody Axel told me. Rose. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You know what? I did see that. It, it kind of it it. does look like you. <laughs> I can't deny that. <laughs> that is you with a wig on right there. I actually can't deny that. You got a great <laughs> voice, Coach. Great voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it did kind of look like you. Axel Rose. I'm jamming out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a side gig. So for media day, I always like to actually because we've had we've had you on a couple times in the offices. You've had to talk about everything else going on. I mean, when you went to when you went to media day, everybody's asking about nil, et cetera. I want to ask you about the team, if you yep. would, a yep. little bit. So yep. let's just let's go through. We had Will and Tavy on yesterday. Yep. Talk to me about how you think. Let's let's take those two positions. First of all, how Will has dealt with everything. All the, I mean, his his status has blown up without even playing a game since the bowl game. And then this receiving core he's going to be throwing to. Well, I could tell you this after day one out there. Um, Will's the starter, yeah, and I felt like that. Well, I think we all knew that. Okay. Yeah, yep. But uh, you know, I feel like it's the most talented receiving core we've had since I've been here, without a doubt. I mean, obviously, it's going to be extremely tough to uh, replace Wondell. You can't. You know, you have to have a group. But Tavion is a really nice answer with some maturity and some experience in there. So that's really good. Demarcus Harris on on one side, uh, uh, next to Dane, I think is going to be a, is going to do for a breakout year, because he's really worked hard and he's just tough and reliable. And then you have Dane, who has some experience from being here in the spring, and then you look at uh, Christian Lewis. You know, I think he's due to break out. You get to Kelback, who was here last year, would have played last year, but he had the knee. You know, and he looks really good. And then you add in the freshman, and you got Barry on, you got Chauncey. You know, you got some guys that could really step up and play. And so I'm really excited about that group, to be honest with you. Yes, there's definitely some inexperience. And 
but that's where the experience of a guy like Rich can really have packages and have plays and have guys ready to get touches, you know, where – you know, we'll, we'll get him the football. At times in the last couple of years at receiver, you had a primary option. Last year, of course, it was Wandale. Maybe the year, one, that one year it was the, what was the big big kid, 6'6 kid, Wagner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you'd have uh-huh. maybe a secondary option like mm-hmm. last year with Ali, et mm-hmm. cetera. But then if that didn't work, it was those two. You feel much more confident about other folks, right? Well, again, I think when you have the success that we had a year ago throwing the football, that automatically made our program better. Yeah. Just, just it's, you know, all the guys around them are getting better. And the tight ends. Because they're getting the yeah. tight ends. And without a doubt, you know, the tight ends. You put all that together and the way uh, we blend it, um, you know, I'm very excited about it. Let me ask you about those tight ends. Yeah. I mean, you had two stud stud athletes, and you lost them both last year for pe- periods of time with Upshaw and, and Cummings. How, what do you think those guys well, coming back does? Well, Isaiah stood out to me today, again, you know, because we missed him in the spring. And so that was really nice seeing him out there. He makes a big difference um, right away. And then having Keaton back um, at full strength, we need him to stay healthy. We need to see what he can do. Brendan Bates is a heck of a football player. And so, as a whole, I mean, that's one heck of a unit, you know. And, and I mean, Jordan Dingles, I mean, is he he could do it all. Like he's a he's a complete tight end. That's gonna be a battle you to play, I mean? right? So it really is. But the nice thing is, is those guys get. I don't, I don't. It's not nice that they get banged up, but it's just part of reality. The nice thing for us is we have depth. Yeah. Because it is a hard physical position. And there, there's going to be, you know, some things. Even Justice Dingle really showed up today. And, you know, he's a big physical guy that will help us in some blocking. And, and again, with uh, this offense and with Coach Rich, you know, it, it's, it's very multiple. So, you, you know, you need all those bodies. Running back position, I assume there's not an update on Chris. But mm-hmm. but talk about Chris. But then also I feel like you got depth there too, right? We do. You know, it's, you know you got Jaton and Lavelle, um, you know, that are – we really have 100 percent confidence in you know you got the the transfer Ramon of course you got Cavassier, uh, Drennan I mean you talk know, about that transfer the, the you talking about the the yeah, kid from JUCO Ramon or Ramon Jefferson you know yeah. one day it's hard for me to see because he's a he's a tough physical guy um, we'll see when the pads come on but but I like what I, I've seen so far. So if there if there is a period of time where you don't have Chris do you feel good about what you have behind oh, yeah. him without a doubt you know you know that we're going to be you know, physical, and, you know, we've had backs, and we'll, we'll, we'll be all right. Offensive line, you've had four dudes drafted in the last two years, yep. which is a really – and then to be able to replace those, I, you look and you go, listen, you had a third rounder and a fifth rounder last year and another guy in Dare Rosenthal who was huge for you. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about the replacements there? Well, that's a big, you know, question mark for us. Obviously, DeAndre Buford will get first crack at left tackle along with Keontae, and Keontae was here all winter and all spring as well and really come along. And then um, Jeremy Flax has done a really nice job at, at right tackle. And then you got David Willenbaugh that's, that's a wild card as well because he's – What about my guy, Tayshaun we're, Manning? We're, we're really uh, confident in him. We're talking about tackles. I thought you were talking about tackles. Oh, well, I was just talking about the office line yeah, as a whole. In but general, yeah. Well, in, inside, of course, uh, Tayshaun and uh, Eli is going to be good, and Kenneth played so much football. And then you got Jagger. Yeah. You know what I mean? And there's a swing guy. So you really feel – and then Q – you know, so you really feel solid at center, which you get, you have to have two or three, and you have five guys that will play a bunch of football inside, and you know for sure, uh, you know four tackles right now, you know because we're we could you know I could just tell by the way we'll go into day one, you know with. Um, uh, Keontae getting some snaps as well if, if, if he doesn't win the job at left tackle. So we'll see. You know, him and DeAndre will be a good battle. I've told you this privately, but the, if there's a nicer kid than Tayshaun Manning, I'd like to meet him. I mean, yeah. I, I, I yeah. spent he spent the summer with us, and I, yeah. I, I can't praise that kid enough. Yeah, no, he's he's really And he loves this place, too, and he just yeah. got here, yeah. and he, he yeah. absolutely loves it. You got time to talk defense? we got yeah. to take a quick yeah. break. All yeah, right, we'll ahead. take a quick break. Come back, talk defense. I'm sure Max will give him a hard time. This is <laughs> Kentucky Sports Radio. To talk to Matt Jones and the crew, call the Clark. Clark's Pump and Shop phone line at 502-571-1080 or 1-877-904-1080. Or send us the Kentucky Brandit KSR Tweet of the Day by tweeting Matt at KY Sports Radio. Welcome to the jungle. Now for more news on the blue, Kentucky Sports Radio on Talk Radio 1080. Smart Stoops performing the other night. Hey, thanks for playing my tunes. <laughs> you still got it. I mean, you still got it. Well, seriously, you don't. To check. 
<laughs> if Shannon's tweet has gone viral nationwide, you're going to be called Axel Rose. You just need to be ready for it. He can be called worse. <laughs> uh, let's let's go defense. Uh, I think the strength of your defense to me seems in the, as the linebackers. Do you agree with that? Yeah, without a doubt, we're deep there. You know, with your Quez and DeAndre, of course, but uh, you know, you got Djack back at full strength, and then you got uh, Trevin who. You know we've been talking high about him since he's been here in Martez. And has already made and big those, plays since yeah, he's been those here. those guys got to get on the field and get playing. And then Luke Fulton has really done a nice job for us. So we feel like we're six deep and inside. You know, outside backers, you get J.J. back, you know, at full strength and Jordan Wright, which last year, as you know, we were kind of hanging off so we are thin. We really feel good about the youngsters there, but we, we've got to bring them along. And we could always switch to our what we call our medium package where you play like a hybrid, a big, uh, a big DB at that Sam linebacker position and still run our first second down calls. And then there's a true nickel package that we could get into some other other you know personnel groupings as well. Tell people quickly about I, I, the video I saw Saturday night about JJ Weaver. I, yeah. That was re- I, 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 I hope that at some point the whole fan base can see yeah. it. I thought that was really touching what he's been through. I, I do. You know, it, it, it was a nice message, and you know, it was really nice for him to share that. And he's not embarrassed by that. He wants to spread that message. For people who don't know, he he said he had some some mental like just difficulties after his father was killed and then his injury and that he was able to go through therapy and talk about it and he was very honest about it. He was and you know it was a situation where I've had I had several conversations with him during that period of time and I could tell he was just a different person and he was struggling and he started opening up and bottom line is is you know he was you know we gave him to a person that started talking to him and it still just wasn't working and and he can you know and we had some open conversation and uh honest conversations and and uh bottom line is that i really credit gabe and all the people at uk you know healthcare because gabe you know i said gabe this is serious like this is not working find the right person and we all can understand that if you need to talk to somebody there's some people you connect with oh yeah and others you yeah. know and if you're getting therapy same way and so eventually we sought and you know uh, sought out and and received the the proper care of the person the 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 doctor that related to him and he, and he's made a huge difference with him since well i think it's it's awesome that he yeah. has the strength to talk about it yeah. uh defensive line you got uh yeah. you know a lot of re- you got some returning guys but some new guys going to have to step up yeah i think the new guys you know the big thing that we need something out of he's not new he's, he's young but Khalil, you know saunders we need to really get something you you know about justin josiah and octavius you know those guys are steady um we need uh khalil to step up you need jamaris Dinkins to step up and then the big one that's a big wild card that that has to have an impact early that that uh from day one looks to be the case is Dion walker you know so you know Dion's a big dude he's huge yeah and he's explosive you got some dudes like like you stand Four of those guys, Josiah, Octavius, a couple of them came to my wrestling thing a couple of weeks ago with Tayshon, and I was like, just the physical difference in your guys from when you first got here is unbelievable. Yeah, and that's you know that's why we've been consistent. You made my wrestlers look tiny. Hey, well, <laughs> well, we you know we you you always have a chance if you're physical. You know if you're if you're not physical in the long run, you're going to have no chance. You know what I mean? To just that cute stuff runs out. You know, in this league, you just get wore down. You're going to get beat up. I mean, you got to you got to be physical. And, and even, you know, where, where we got to get back to, and it's intentional at certain positions, even at skill positions, you got to be big and physical and strong. Now, there's a blend. There's the fast, fast. There's the shifty. But you got to have big skill as well. And you remember a few years ago when we had all that length in the secondary, and, you know, all those guys were very tough. That was huge. Yeah, you had and we made a there. conscious effort, and we're getting some guys back. You know, I think a guy like Alex Safari is a, is a youngster that, that stood out to me. Today. What about some of these? Have you got, do you know much about these transfers in the it's secondary? It's hard for me to get a good feel for those guys yet. I think, um, you know, uh, it, it's going to be – it's going to be – I need a little bit of time. I think Keytron Smith, you know, is a guy that uh, stood out to me today. I think he's going to be – uh, no question, he's going to help us, you know, and, and we needed him. And uh, Jordan Robinson is a guy that looks good, you know, um, has got a little dinged up. And uh, Zion, you know, they all look good. It, it was hard to get a total feel for it today. I was watching a lot of new new guys and, and also watching Scheme on both sides. So there's a, there's a lot to take into. I, I, I spent some time with you all right now. I appreciate what you do. Cause, but I well, got, we got three minutes and I you're out. i got to get in there and watch the Ryan yeah. asked one and Max asked yeah. one. Go for it, Ryan. Yeah. 
if Matt took his OVW wrestling ring and put it here in the middle of the field, who's mm. the meanest, nastiest dude that would win the Royal, the UK Football ooh. Royal Rumble? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a tough one. Let me think about that. The Royal Rumble. <laughs> mm. Got to be the meanest, nastiest dude on the team probably that would win. And big. And big. Big butt guy. Because, you know, the smaller tough guys, they wouldn't last. No. Long. No, that would come up. No, I think I might have to go with... I might have to. I think. I think Josiah. Hayes you know, I was going to say that he was in the ring, <laughs> yeah. and so we had said to him, "Tayshon is licensed. Yeah, exactly. The other three weren't." Yeah. And I was like, "Because you're not licensed, you can't put your hands." I got you. He wanted to. <laughs> there were a couple times our yeah. guys had to be like, "All right, stop." Yeah. <laughs> he certainly wanted to, Max. Uh, there's been – it's not breaking news, but at the charity for the kids, the coaches for the kids on yeah. uh, Saturday night, you decided to push the auctioneer off stage and do it yourself. <laughs> is that something you see for your future once the coaching's done? <laughs> is that is that something you could see yourself doing? Well, just when me and you were coming around and getting rid of all of our past <laughs> disagreements, you know, we were, you were starting to connect again a little bit. You gotta, again, it's you a compliment. Do. You did a great job, didn't you? <laughs> we were there to raise money. Yeah. He so, knew how to do it. When like, he started yelling at people, they raised their well, bids. after 10 years, we've been doing that for 10 years as well, and we've raised, I'm so proud, you know, the money we've raised for UK Hospital this year. Um, we're really we're gearing it towards mental health, but we also wanted to spread some to Eastern Kentucky, yes. of course, and... Um, you know, and, and with the mental health and with UK hospital, as you know, it connects with every county in the state. And so we've raised a lot of money, and it's a great cause. And, and so, no, after 10 years, Max, I mean, I, I like at the end, you saw I just called people out for money. You know what I mean? And he would name them by name. So when, go. We're, when we're haggling 10, you know, 5, 10 minutes over, you know, this or that, you know, you got to move on. Hey, that's like, like, exactly like Matt does on this show. Just yeah, move like, on. You just, yeah. you just, you Appreciate move the call. On. Yeah, yeah. you got to move on. So. Let me say one thing before you go. You came up to me Saturday, and this, I think, says a lot about you, and I want people to know this because you, you wouldn't say this. First thing he said to me when I saw him Saturday is he goes, tell me about what's happening in eastern Kentucky. How sad is it? I it obviously has touched you, and I, I just want people to know that's not a public thing for you. Nobody heard you say that to me but, but me, and you were asking me questions about those counties. I know it has affected you. Without a doubt. I mean, you know, we get over here, we get in this bubble, we get consumed with what you're doing, but that is way beyond this. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. We, you oh, yeah. know, that is so important, and I really love what Cal did last night in the, in the athletic department, and we're all helping as part of that. We as a team are going to do something. We have two things lined up. It'll come out later, you know, that we're going to do to help. And, uh, you know, of course, with your own donations and things of that nature, you do whatever you can. And I and, uh, just continue to ask people to do that. Do whatever you can. And that's the great thing about this state is it will you, unite. Amen. Mark, thank you very much. Thank Go you. get to it. And yep. we appreciate you taking the time. We will take a break and be right back here at U.K. Football Media Day. It's KSR.